This video is sponsored by Master 3D with Professor. We'll talk more about this best rated 3D animation course later in this video. In today's video with 3D animation, we'll learn what is the working mechanism of a gun. This video is split into three stages to help you understand the technology behind the gun in the most pleasing manner. In movies and games, you must have seen a character doing this before they fire a shot. This is known as cocking. And because of this cocking, the gun is automatically loaded. Let's see how. We all know that a shot is fired when this trigger is pressed, but no one presses the trigger straight ahead. This is a slide. First of all, this slide is pulled back with one hand. Then, just by pulling this slide back, in total, five actions take place inside the gun simultaneously. The first action is the recoil spring in rest position gains tension because of pressure and tries its best to get back to its rest position. This second action is, with the help of these projections, the slide also takes back this gun barrel with it. The third action is topmost cartridge, which was pushed down because of the slide when magazine was inserted, gets back into its initial position, i.e. pushed up as the slide moves away. This third action can be understood as, this is a magazine cover, inside of it is a spring and a follower. The magazine is designed in such a manner that the cartridge can come out only after sliding. The use of this spring is to push all the cartridges to the top, which are present above the follower, like this. Now what happens is, when magazine is outside the gun, then cartridge stays on the top level only. But when magazine is put inside the gun, the cartridge at the top is pressed a bit because of the slide. But again, as soon as the slide goes back, the top cartridge remains its initial position under the spring force. The fourth action is, this projection on the slide pushes the disconnector downwards while going back. The fifth and most crucial action is, slide when going backward rotates this hammer. This part of the gun is known as hammer strut, and this spring down below is known as main spring. So hammer strut on top is connected to hammer, and on the bottom is connected to the main spring cap. Because of slide, hammer strut also starts moving downward as the hammer starts rotating. While moving downwards, hammer strut presses the main spring, ultimately creating tension on it. This whole process is known as cocking. Remember? I told you, for loading, there's nothing you should do. It happens automatically with cocking. Let's see how. Now, as soon as your hands are off the slide, the recoil spring in tension will retain its initial state. And also, spring will bring back the slide to its initial position. A point to note here is that the slide will push the cartridge into the barrel when getting back to its initial position. While doing this, the back portion of the cartridge gets locked into the extractor, placed on the right side of the slide. This whole process is known as loading. But did you notice a thing? Hammer should also retain its initial state because of main spring, when slide retained its rest state because of recoil spring. But that didn't happen. So let's check out why. This part of the gun is known as sear, and this part is known as leaf spring. Leaf spring is the same spring used in the vehicle suspension, but present in a more diminutive form here in the gun. Now, what happens is, this leaf spring always tries to keep sear in this direction. Now, understand well, when the hammer was rotating because of the slide, at the same time, it was also getting engaged with the sear. So look here, how it is locked here because of sear. And even after the slide has moved away, the hammer remains locked. By far, it's clear that if the character does something like this to the gun, what's exactly happening inside? Now this gun is ready to fire. Now, as soon as the trigger is pressed, it will press this disconnector. Disconnector will further push this sear, setting the hammer free, further striking this firing pin under the mainspring's tension. This whole part is not known as a bullet, 
only this one third part is called a bullet. This whole part is known as cartridge, and this outer covering is known as the case. And the fuel is filled inside this case only, which can also be marked as an explosive material. In the center back, there is a primer compound. Primer compound has got a significant role. Let's see how. Now, as soon as the hammer strikes the firing pin, the firing pin will further strike the primer compound. Following this, the spark will take birth, and the propellant will catch fire. Many high-pressure gases will take birth here as soon as propellant catches fire, which will push the bullet ahead with the speed of 1,000 feet per second. Before proceeding, a gentle reminder. On the 1st of July, 2022, the highly demanded English version of the well-famous Master 3D with Professor course will be launched. Using a step-by-step -step tutorial system, I will teach you how to create 3D animated videos like this gun video in record time. There will be a 70% early bird flat discount for 1,000 students only. To book your slot and to learn more about once-in-a-lifetime admission fees, kindly visit brainrig.com and subscribe to my authentic newsletter. No spam guaranteed. Many people don't know that this bullet never comes out straight from the barrel. Instead, there are twisted grooves inside the barrel, because of which the bullet comes out spinning only. But why is that? Why is it mandatory to spin the bullet? Couldn't it have gone straight? You'll find the answer to this question with this spinning top's help. You very well know that the winner in the top spinning game is the man who can rotate this toy with maximum speed on its axis. Because the higher the angular velocity, the higher the angular momentum, the more stability. As the spinning top gets slower, its chances of falling also increase. In addition, because angular velocity will decrease, thus angular momentum and stability will also decrease. The same is the case with the case of the bullet. Angular velocity will be zero if a bullet comes out straight from the barrel. Also, the angular momentum and stability will be zero. Thus, there is no guarantee that the bullet will reach the target successfully in such a case. But because of these grooves, the more the angular velocity, the more the angular momentum, the better stability. Following this, the accuracy and range of bullets to hit the target will increase a ton. Anyways, now since the gun also needs to take care of the law of conservation of momentum, the slide will go back because the bullet has moved forward. The law of momentum conservation is nothing but an essential consequence of Newton's third law of motion. So with the help of this circled extractor slide while moving backward, we'll take this case backward after striking with the ejector, which will be moved out of the gun. Not only this, as a reaction to firing the first round, when the slide goes backward, it automatically takes care of cocking and loading for firing the next round. Let's see how. As a consequence of the reaction slide while going backward, we'll again push down the disconnector. So again, slide will rotate the hammer, and hammer will again remain locked at that rotational position because of Sears movement. But did you notice a thing? This all happened fast enough that the trigger you press to fire the first round is still pressed and not released. You haven't got enough time to put your finger off the trigger until now. Now to fire a second round, the disconnector will retain its initial position under the pressure of leaf spring as soon as you release the trigger. So now this gun is ready to fire the second round. Now you will press the trigger to fire the second round. First, the trigger will push the disconnector, then the disconnector will push the sear, and the sear will set the hammer free, and so on. The specialty of a gun is that you cannot fire even a single round without handling the gun properly, i.e. after cocking and loading the gun, you try and fire a shot without holding it from the back. Sorry, can't shoot! That is because this Colt model has grip safety in it. This grip safety won't let the trigger go back, but as you hold the gun from the back, grip safety will be lifted upwards, and the trigger will complete the remaining process after pushing the disconnector. With the help of 3D animation on this same Professor of How channel, let's learn what technology is behind the silencer that removes the sound from the gun when used. Plus, in movies, you must have seen the villain sometimes uses a pillow instead of the suppressor. But the question is, by using the pillow, seriously, there isn't any shooting sound. Or are you being befooled? 
Thanks for watching this video and make sure you book your slot on brainrig.com to get a 70% flat discount.